20 past 7 on an early morning run to B&Q for our cement. Because it's the cheapest for cement, that's the only place that does Blue Circle. Trouble is, we don't have it stacked at the front anymore, you have to go all the way back to the trolley. and quiet anyway. Let's do this. Back at B&Q for our cement. Uh, yeah. Night tucked under the shelf so you hurt your back picking them up. Yeah. Let me just turn the yeah, trail. around. Yeah, we're on the blue circle today. 470 a bag from here. Plastic bags. Do you need any sound? Uh, yeah, we do. I'm going to need. What is the sun? Can you be over here? I'll be over here. We could do another trolley for the sand. Yeah, the sun's even further away. Yeah, we thought about getting some sand from here, but it's very red, so it's not going to dry the same colour. So we're going to get some from Use Grey, we'll go in the net, we'll go in Screwfix next, then Use Grey. And then we're um, getting 200 bricks to start, and we'll get this bit of sand. So we're going to pay for this now. Here we are, there's our cement in. I'm pretty sure I've just time lapsed that, so that was very quick. <laughs> Balls that up. So, we've got room now just to get our bricks in. 200 to get us a start. And we'll pick up five bags of sand over there. So, off we go. Screw fix next. Here's our new trusty steed. I'm pretty sure I'll use it eventually. Well, this, is, this is all new. I'm live streaming then.
fresh for you here, something new. Right, it's, hectic uh, morning. It's probably half eleven now. So, picked up our cement from being key. Picked up our tyres from Screw Fix. And, uh, she had this song out, uh, before. Picked up some bricks to make a start from and, Hughes Grey, uh, which are absolutely uh, soaked. And, uh, oh, I think she sent it to me. Uh, see how wet that is. Soaked and wet. Can't use them. They're like an engineering brick, so they don't dry. So, we've currently got. And she says when she heard the first time. Hair dryer on the stack from the bottom. And we've got. Let's hear it. Stack it up with a heat And then we're going to try and get it to damp today. One course of trench. One course of trench, three face brick. Alright, let's get set out. Right, we've had our dinner. Bricks are starting to dry out now. Finally. Um, got one side in, got our lintels in. So we've got three course a bit to go on the and a course of block at the back. So we're gonna transfer the level to that corner can run them all in then. And get some brick out. Got another the other thousand brick arri arrived and pretty much all soaking wet. So we'll just have to see how we get on.
Did you miss them? What? Did you miss them? Did you miss them? Oh, wait a minute. Not really, no. Really. How, how did I balls that up? What? I'm oh. nowhere near. I'm on top of it. We'll just chop the, um, the corner off it. But I'm, I'm, I'm level. How do you mean? I'm still level. It's on top of it, but it's not above the line. Oh, that's fine then. The beds are that big. Yeah. I don't know, I could just put a whole block in. Do you have a spare trench block over there? Yeah. Oh no, never mind, it's one here. It's alright. Okay. Corner so big, so we can pull the line off for the block work instead of putting a corner. Because those blocks are going to be big beds. <clears throat> yeah, good thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> FYI, we're not time lapsing. What? FYI, we're not time lapsing. Right, so if I swear you'll have to edit it out. <laughs> what are the beds like for the bricks? They're the block in 10 below. I've got it already. Get it on the bottom bed, you see. So you'll have to see the look alright. Shut enough. So you can go back in a couple of weeks, Steve. It should be quicker than that, really. It's all down to the weather. Yeah. Otherwise, I can get the bricks dry. I thought I'd give her an electric meter a rest. Say again? I thought I'd give her an electric meter a rest. <laughs>
mean, they've got a bit about being on your, your own work now, at least you can crack on, can't you? What? I said the good bit about you being on your own work, your own stuff, you can just carry on with your jobs. Say that to Jason yesterday, instead no of packing your stuff up on Sunday and no. taking it all away and bringing it all back. That's all it is, a bonus. Like. And plus, you're not working seven days, are you, all the time? No. Not with the weather, that's for sure. Yeah. Are just going to skip there? Where are they? Off yeah, the yeah. No, I'll just bury them. Please, mate. Um, level two. Yes, please. So that's DPC. Yeah. Pretty high up, isn't it? Not at the other end. Not really. Look. Pretty of course with the flags. Is it? Yeah. Should be two, really. But and that's the ground level. That's the ground level. on DPC and put the bottom of the straight edge on it. Oh, Phil, hang on, do, no, do it the other way around. Because the bottom of that will sit on the corner then, won't it? Oh, top of the straight edge. On the top of DPC? Yeah. Top of the straight edge on DPC. Top of the straight edge, yeah. Oh, it's not quite big enough. What? Oh, one sec. Down a bit. Great, yeah. Hang on that. Nice to see. It's a lot of brickwork. That's DPC, so we can just hook a line straight on here now for the block work, which isn't much, it's probably about a block and a half, ends up patio doors, then block and a half there. So this is going to be open, so we, need, we probably need to run this face work in today, so we've got something to work against. And then Alex is going to finish off the bricks over there, two courses on each lintel. Block to go in there. Do you need one? Cut and ready. All right, I'll throw it to go in. And then we're just going to use it up and go. The plan was to get it up to damp today, but the bricks were just between the I just couldn't use them. I'll show you, I'll show you our thousand bricks that arrived with, wrap, with plastic wrapped on them. That one's had the hairdryer on. And you can see how wet they are.
a disappointing day. We've only done half a day's work. I feel like we've done two days' work today. Right. Slog, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's how far we got. Never even got to damp on this end. It's all set out, trench blocker in. The block work's done on the inside. So we can, we can, start, we can start digging out the weather turns on us and then um, start stoning up, getting, getting all this MOT back in. Trying to get some bricks dried out for tomorrow. We don't know what the weather's going to be like tomorrow, but we've got to get up to damp so we can get it prepped, get the slab done. Um, I think. Where's the grinder? Has it been put away? Yeah, it's here. Right, leave that out for me. While you carry on, I get this done now. We're going to get this this cut cut up and get the, for the damp course to go in. We're not sure if we're going to follow the gauge of the house because it's big beds or do our own gauge. We'll have to see. I think they're pretty uniform, so we might just follow what's there. Yeah, so that's it. Got a three and a half brick pillar, a 15 something doors, and then the three and a half brick pillar. Solid wall, solid wall, and then that door there is being put into that gap there against the house where Alex is. So um, yeah, all the lintels are in, all the pipes are over. So we can probably get that stoned up for easy working. Same here, lintels are in. So three course of common, three course of face, one course of block. And it's ready for prepping the slab then. We've had Rob and Rob here all day, so it's been a bit hectic. And we've been chasing around picking stuff up. And by the time we got here, pretty much everything had been delivered. <laughs> because nobody's busy at the moment, so you're getting next day deliveries. Um, yeah, that's it. Over and out for today. See what we can get, on, get done tomorrow. Thursday morning and it's raining so we're hoping to get a dig out for the slab aren't we? Oh Trying to get the finish bit work up this afternoon.
So we've got most of it done, and then that under the flag. So is that. That's flag waving. We can't even get that apart the ground, it's that thick. So we nearly, this is a footing. This, this is a footing for those. Those thin flint bricks. With a foot of concrete in. So that was going nowhere. So I've still got to get this out yet. This is solid. That's not moving. I'm going to have to bring the brake rafters in to get these lumps out. But uh, that's eight tons skip number two. So the plan is get this, um, get, finish getting this dug out and get it stoned up and then get the bricks loaded out and then tomorrow we can get, um, get it all to DPC build that side and start coming down this side and then we can do uh, I don't know That's the corner to DPC. Got to get this block work up to date because we need to slap, uh, prep this for the slab tomorrow, which is going to be for push. It's about four, half past three now, so the back's not, that brickwork's not critical. We need to get the block work up, and we need to get the block work through there and the brickwork so that we can prep the slab. Alex is just currently trying to drop these packs. Still absolutely soaking wet. You can't use them. These bracken browns are like engineering bricks. So you will not take, you can't set them wet. You can see how wet they are. So there's, we've loaded the whole lot out right to the top, just so they're drying out. Obviously we're going to be on trestles for the top bit, but we'll just chuck them up then. Same here, another hundred here. So there's our setup. Three and a half foot pillar, doors, three and a half foot pillar. Solid wall, solid wall down to a single door in that corner. So that door is going there. So it's just all we've done today's dig. Got here lakes to the rain, and there must be nearly a foot come out of it. And all that you can see there, all those lumps and high bits, that's all sand, cement, and concrete. 
So we're struggling with that. So we've left that because we need to get the brickwork up. We can bring the breaker back tomorrow for that. And then we've got our MOT outside to bring in and prep it. We've got a ton bag of building sand for blinding. And we can always pick more up. We've, we've pushed for space really. I haven't got the blocks delivered yet. So once we've got the MOT done, the blocks can come. And then here's the uh, hair dry sand got the bricks down. It's a real struggle. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect here because none of this is seen at the DPC. But you just want it right, don't you? So the plan is, you've done there now. Right, well, I'll, I'll take this line down, we'll go on this side. And you, you guys will jump on with me. Okay. And we'll just get, we'll get the face work up. And then I'll, I'll do the block work while you start tidying up. And then if there's any more to left over, I'll use it up down here. Right. Okay, so in. Um, it's a bit, bit of a rush, so we're going to go to time lapse again. Right, it's another slow over, another short day, but we've just caught short on the um, getting those lumps out, they're coming out tomorrow, but we have got it ready for prep, prep for slab, so that brick works across, so there's the door, block works all across, I've just got to put these six brick in here. So then we've got our three walls then to tamp off. We didn't get that done because we ran out of mortar. That doesn't matter. That's one course to damp, but we've still got the block work again to tamp off. Um, yeah, I think we'll be tamping that way anyway. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we've got to clear it, clear this out now. Restack the bricks again somewhere where they'll dry, and then back here tomorrow to get it prepped for concrete. I mean, if we can get concrete in the afternoon, that'd be great, but I'm just not too, I'm not too happy about running a whack around against these blocks. Those are fine, but these, they're on such a big bed, I just don't want to knock them. But we'll see how we get on. Didn't matter if we have to get concrete, concrete at short notice. So, while Alex is tidying up, I'm going to get these last six in. And where is it now? It's... Um, Past four o'clock. Well, it's well past. past. It's um, twenty to five now. Oh, God. and it's still light. 
which is good news for bricklayers. Yeah, it's just starting to rain, so we just need to get all jointed up. And Everything's covered. Yeah, they're, they're going to be wet. Not going to be pretty to join up, but again, look, look where they are. I'll show you how close we are to the fence. No, the post. Oh. You know, this side is even closer. Trench blocks on it. Yeah, luckily though, the fence is leaning out a bit, so the only thing we can't do is join behind the posts. But we can get we can get in to get join the rest. Plenty of room to get in to join the rest of it. And this fence is staying here, really, so it's not getting moved now. No, it's not being touched. So we're used to overland anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just cast, catch this last bit while I run this in and now it can get tidied up, covered up. Yeah. And uh, we can't even get our brick jackets on but we can't put them over because the air needs to circulate around, needs to get them dry. So if we put the brick jackets over them, they're not going to dry they're out just, properly. They're just too wet to uh, cover up completely. Yeah. The jackets are going to hold the water in rather than let the water out. But as soon as they are dry, the jackets will be getting used properly. There you go. That. <laughs> yeah. So that's just time lapse for a bit.